Hi everyone, I'm Hazel from Jiao Yoga. Uh, welcome to Stay Home with Jiao Practice. Today I'm going to share with you small on the uh, dynamic, dynamic move for the chest, shoulder, and uh, more on your upper back. And I also do a little bit back bend after the stretching. Okay, let's. Um, before that, just want to double check with you. If you have any injury and pains in your body, like you have a shoulder pain or you have a little bit low back pain, be careful during this practice because you have to be more aware about your movement. You don't force the sound to your maximum. You just move according to your feelings and just see how far yourself can go and connect with the breathing. If too much for you, you can hold back a little bit more and then restart your practice again with us. Is that okay? Right, let's start the practice now. Oh yeah, I have Christina with me today and we'll practice together. Right, let's start with the uh, child pose. Then set your hand down to the floor, fingers open, and then adjust yourself, make sure your right uh, knee is right underneath your hips and your shoulder underneath uh, above your palms. So you tuck your toes into the mat. Start with the kick and cow stretch from here. So lift up the tailbones with inhale, open up your chest and keep the neck longer. Look at the center of your eyebrows. As you exhale, your tailbone are tucking in, draw your navel into your spine, and you're pushing the spine up, chin close to your collarbone. Inhale, tailbone lift up, natural curve of the spine, open up your chest and keep the neck longer. Exhale, draw navel in, tailbone tuck in, pushing the spine up, chin closer to your collarbone. So when every move from here, try to feel the move from the spine. As you exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. In. And up. One more. Inhale. And then slowly exhale. Good. Now inhale, look forward. And back to your neutral position. We're going to move the spine from the right side up and left side down. So when you inhale, you push your spine up from the right side. Lift up all your spine to the ceiling. As you exhale, slowly drop from the left. So your spine is kind of like lifting up away from the gravity. As you exhale, just follow the gravity and down. So you start to feel the movement from the scapula, shoulder, hip, and down. Another three more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. In. Every movement, you have to be more conscious, not just moving. You feel it yourself. How much does flexibility and a range of movement for your shoulder, how far you can push your spine, and how much you can lower down your chest. Good. One more inhale. And exhale down. Can we change side from here? Let's breathe in from the left side. Push up. And exhale down. In. And out. Up. And down. Two. And down. And one more we inhale up. Exhale down. Okay, now back to center. Okay, toes are supports. We're going to move the right fingers to the corner of the left mat. Turn your palm face up. Forearm down on the mat. And then interlace your fingers from here. Back toe supports. And then lift the elbows up. Good. Keep moving your hip to the back so you start to stretch your spine. As you exhale, you twist your body facing to the side. Your ears just next to your arm. Looks towards the side. You start to feel the arm, shoulder, or the scapula area on the right side, down to your slatter anterior muscles, 
and down to your obliques. So you breathe into that muscle that you feel stretching. As you exhale, you keep moving your hip to the back, draw your navel into your spine. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Now breathe in from here. Exhale, release the face down. Let go of your hands. Come back to your old four. So we change another side. Palm down, interlace your finger. Lift the elbows up, forearm up. Keep moving your hip to the back as you inhale. Exhale, twist the chest open. Looks towards the right. Stay here for a few breaths. So you're not just holding there, you need to breathe in towards the spine. Push your hip to the back, exhale, keep the chest open to the right. Good, in. And then out, turn your face down. Release the hands, round the backs, come back to your all four position. All right. Now, your left hand is down, right hand is up. So you keep the right hands up to the thing, open heart and chest. I'll be the opposite side with you. So hand up, exhale down. So finger to the side, shoulder down, ears down on the mat. You bring the chin closer to your collarbone. And then from here, the hand are support, twist the chest open, twist your eyes, gaze up to the ceiling. No tension at all from the back of the neck. It's quite comfortable movement here. Another three, two, and once. Now, shoulder support, breathing all the air down to your arm and shoulder. You walk your left finger forward over your head, cupping it down to the mat. And feel the stretching from the side body all the way down to your finger. So extend your hip to the back as you inhale. Exhale, draw your navel in and out. Good, now deep in from here. Bring the hands up, shoulder remains on the floor. Lift up the left fingers and then left hands point, left finger point up to the ceiling. Try not collapse your shoulder down, extend up to the ceiling. Good, exhale, turn your palm to the right side. Rotate the shoulder from here. You bend your elbow, reach your hands to hold your thigh. So you hold your right front thigh. If you can't reach your thigh, you can go into the back of the hips. If you can reach to your thigh, hold it. And then roll the shoulder to the back, open up your heart and chest to make a deep twist from here. Breathe again, in and out, not holding your breath. Good, inhale, hand up. Exhale, bring the palms down next to your face. With the hand supports, bring the right hands up. Keep the chest and heart open. And then exhale, release it down to the mat. Okay, let's change another side. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Chin into your collarbone. So your neck is a little bit natural bending towards your collarbone so that you don't arch the back neck. Chin in. Hands next to your face or just in front of the head. Toes remain support you. Make a deep inhale to your spine. Keep moving your hip to the back. As you exhale, you twist the chest open. The stretching all come to your arm and your upper back, your shoulder. Good. Now inhale, walk your finger forwards so you grow the hand towards the front. Cup the fingertips down on the mat. Bring the conscious to your hip, move to the back. Feel the side stretching. Breathe into your left shoulder, left arm. Exhale, draw your navel into your spine. Good. Now, shoulder support. Inhale, lift up the right fingers. Right finger point up to the ceiling. 
As I say before, try not to collapse your shoulder down, so lift up to the ceiling, turn your palm to the back, rotate the shoulder, you bend your elbow, set your hands on your thigh. So reach either hip or front thigh. Twist the chest open and then turn your eyes looking to the ceiling as possible. Stay another five, not just look at the side. Four. Three. Two. And one. Now inhale, hand up. Exhale, palm next to your face with the hand support. And then you lift the left hand up. Keep your chest and heart open. And then exhale, release. Okay, set your palm down, tuck your toes in. We're going to move the scapula up and down. So holding your core in, so not collapse the lower back. Draw your navel in, tailbone's tuck in. So breathe in to lift up the shoulder or scapula up to the ceiling. Elevate them up to the ceiling. Next, keep in neutral position. As you exhale, drop the chest down towards the mat. So inhale, push up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. And exhale. In. And then slowly down. One more. Inhale. And then exhale down. Okay, let's go back to your old four and neutral position. Tuck the toes into the mat. You can bring your toes together first and then you're going to move your hip to the back. Sit your bottom down on the heel. Round the back and slowly come back to your sitting position. So I'm going to face to you so that you can see more clearly. So option one, you can rest the hip downs and sit on the top of the foot into Virasana. If this is too hard for you, you have a knee problem or ankle problem, you can put one block underneath your hip and sit on the block. Or still cannot, then you're going to cross the leg into your Sukhasana pose. Okay, so choose the option that you can go. Yep. So those can go like me, toes touching each other, move your hip to the back. Why I want you to do that? If they are flexible enough, you can try to do this as you're stretching your toes and your feet as well. So you keep the knee open. Now hands open to the side. Fish your palm. Turn your palms down to the floor. Extend your hands away from you. Good. So we're going to cross the right arms towards your left. And then you round the back, bending your elbow. Kind of pushing the shoulder to the back. Now lift the hands up with inhale. Open heart and chest and exhale. Bend the elbow to the back and release it down to the floor. So you move from the scapula. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. Push your both elbows toward each other and then slowly down. In. And up. So from the side, you can see from here, it's more like this. Inhale. Round the back, elongate your spine, holding your core in, exhale, open the heart and chest. So in and up. Good. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. In. And up. Good. Let's change another side. So we're going to change the left cross towards your right. Inhale, round the back. Open heart and chest and elbows towards each other and down. You will feel the muscle at the back, the scapular muscle. Let's breathe in, round the back. As you exhale, draw never in and then your scapula move inwards to the spine and then slowly down. So inhale. And exhale. Good. Again, in, continue. And out. You've got to fish your palms, not just holding there. Engage your finger and your hands. Pull up, we in, and exhale down. Good. Let's do two more again from here. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Breathe in. And then slowly out. Very good. Now bring the hand towards front, turn your palm facing to the side. So your right hand's up. Put it to your left, interlock your finger. Twist, inhale, extend. And exhale, release. Two. 
three, four. Good, then five, you're gonna extend your hand towards the front. Try not hyper extend your elbow. Keep the arm straight, but Michael bending your elbow, extend your wrist forward. Yeah, feels more twisted from your forearm. Stay five for your wrist as well. Three, two, and one. Now inhales, come back, and exhale, release. Can we change another side? Left hand up, left palms towards your right. Inhale, exhale. Two, release. Just look at your finger. In and then out. Four and five. Extend forwards. Keep the arm straight without locking your joy. Stay another five. Four, three, two. And once, now inhale, exhale, release. Okay, let go of your hand, open to the back. And then interlock your finger behind. Roll the shoulder to the back, hand extend, and then open heart and chest. Look up to the ceiling. Stay here, five, four. You can go further to lift up the hands away from the hip. Three, two, and once. Inhale, look forward, exhale, release the hand and bring the palms down to the floor. Good. Now, apart your feet, tuck toes in. Let's push up to your downward facing dog from here. Tuck toes in, push up, move your hip to the back. So you adjust the feet. We hip apart, toes point straight to the front. Start to feel the connection of your palms and your hands are ground to the floor. Use your finger, engage, grip the floor. Good. Try not using the wrist. Mostly from the palm and your knocker. And push your shoulder away from the next, from the ears. Draw your navel into your spine. Good. Try to bring your kneecap up. Good. Now make a deep inhale from here. Exhale, draw your navel into your spine. Okay, lift up the both knee, we in. And then from here, bending your knee, lower down your chest. Bounce the chest towards the floor with one. Two, three, draw never in. Two, and one, hold there, five, four. You can go deeper, your head is almost touching the floor. Three, two, and one. Hand support, chin in, round back. Lean forwards, come to your plank. Exhale, bend knee, bend elbow. Chest chin on the mat. Inhale, slide body forward. Roll the shoulder, open heart and chest. Exhale, draw never in. Push your hip to the back. Tuck your toes in. Come to your child pose. Good. Now hand supports from here. Make a deep in, slide the body forward. Lift up the elbows, come up to your cobra. Exhale, set your front body down to the mat. Good. I'm going to face to you so that you can see how's the right position for the hand. So when you rest it down to the mat, hands open to the side. You can wider than the mat, cupping your fingertips down on the mat. Use your finger support. Top of the foot engaged, tight engaged, hip bone press down, hold your core in. Let's roll the shoulder, we inhale, lift the chest up and look forward. Draw your navel into your spine. As you exhale, slowly bend your elbow, roll it down to your front body and your forehead down on the mat. So finger support, tailbones tuck in, inhale, lift up the abdomen, lift up the chest, and lift up the head, shoulder, and keep the neck longer. Exhale, abdomen down, ribs down, chest down, face down. Two more, inhale, abdomen up, chest up, shoulder up, neck and head. Exhale, abdomen down, ribs down, chest down and face down so move from the spine inhale up good exhale down all right now hand support we inhale slowly come all the way up as you exhale we're going to twist the shoulder from here to create more mobility from the shoulder let's make a deep in Exhale, twist your right shoulder forward. 
Turn your body towards the left. Good. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, twist. With the hand support, inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, change. In center. And exhale to your right side. Center. Exhale. In, push up and up. Okay, one more in. Twist to the left. Center. And twist to your right. Very good. Now breathe in again. Come all the way up. Exhale, control your spine and slowly lower down your forehead to the mat. Good. So release the finger. Bring your hand to the back. You can squeeze your hand first. Release your finger. You bring the hand to the back. Interlock your finger. Roll the shoulder up. Extend your hands away from the hip. Use your hand to lift the chest up. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale up. Tights down. And then exhale. Two more. In. And down. Up. And down. Good. Now breathe in. Lift up. Hold it for five. Four. Three. No need to keep the neck up. Just keep the neck neutral position. See how far your chest can lift. The neck are lifting it along with the spine. Two. And one. Now exhale. Okay, let go of your hand. Press the palm next to your chest. Round the shoulder. Come up to your cobra pose. Good. Set your hand down, draw never in, move your hip to the back, tuck toes in, and then push up back to your down, facing down. Okay, lift the heels up, right leg up, bend your knee, right foot forwards, and then knee down into your pigeon. Okay, extend your knee to the back, you're going to move the hip side to side, if you need support, Use the block support your hip. If not, just stay where you are. Okay, you can adjust the leg to the front for more stretching on the thigh and your glute. If this is too hard for you, just point your toes to the back. Keep it even for your hip, hands in front. So make a deep inhale to your spine and your hip. As you exhale, let the hip bone sink down to the mat. Let go of your back toes, walk your hand to the front. Go as far as you can, forehead down. Stay five. Four, three, good, two, toes point to the back, and once, now walk your both hands to the right side, inhale, walk towards the right side, go as far as you can, you start to feel the stretching from the side body, which is your left side, stay five, four, breathe, three, from that, you can go further, breathe in and walk your hand again towards your right side. Two. And once, now in, come back to center. Rest the forehead down first. Bring the hands next to your ear. Press the palm down to the floor, tuck the back toes in. Chin into your collarbones, round the back and then slowly come back to your sitting position. Very good. So now hands support, tuck toes in. Let's push up and bring your leg to the back. Adjust the palms and then step the heels up and down. Release all the tension for your hips, legs and your knee. Okay, let's change another side. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend your knee forward and into your pigeon. Good. So you can move the hip bone side to side, loosen all the tightness from the hip first. Good. Now check the back leg, heels, knee, hip, are they in line? Very good. Now soft your forearm, forearm down on the mat. Breathe in all the contours to the spine, your hip bone. As you exhale, let them sink down to the mat. When you're ready, you can let go of your back toes and then walk your hand forward. Go as far as you can. Good. Stay here for five, 
Bring all the conscious to the both hip. Make sure they're even. And then bring the conscious to your tights on the right side. The front thigh are facing down. The groins are a little bit open. Two. And once, now inhale, lift the foreheads up. Walk your both hands to the left side. Go as far as you can. Make a deep inhale from here. Exhale, release the body down. Start to feel the right side of the body stretching. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now in, come up, and back to the front. Exhale, release the forehead down. Walk your hands close to your ear. Press the palm down, chin in to your collarbone, round the back. Slowly come back to your sitting position. Good. Hands supports on the floor. Back toe support. Lift up. Back to your downward facing dog again. Now step the heel up and down. Good. Now inhale, look forwards. Lift up the heels. Right leg up. So you bring the right leg up, bend your knee, right foot step forward next to your right thumb. Good. Ground the back heels, toes point to the side. So you check the center of the heels must in line with the back of the sole of the foot. So from here, you're going to bring the hands up, come up to your warrior two. Check yourself, your knee must bend into 90 degree. Hands open, check left and right, are they in line with the shoulder? Make sure the knee are pointing with second toes point straight forward. If you need more space, you can widen your feet and lower down your hip. Good. Now inhale from here, exhale, you set your forearms on the knee and then extend your hand forward. Bring the hands towards your front. Good. Inhale, hand up. Exhale, set your palm to the back, reach your hands up, bring it to your warrior variation of the uh, revolving warrior two. Inhale forward. And exhale to your pause konasana. In center. And exhale back. Open heart and chest from here. In center. Exhale. Good. Center we in. And exhale, open heart and chest. Okay, one more. Inhale. Exhale, set your arm on your tights and then reach your hands over your ears. Finger points towards the front. Turn your eyes looking up to the ceiling. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to your warrior. As you exhale to your revolving warrior two, open heart and chest, reaching your hand to the back, shutting your heart to the ceiling. Stay here for five, four, Three, two, and one. It's very good. So now bring the hand down. Slowly bring the hands touching the floor. Lift up the back heels. Set your palm down to the floor. Push yourself up. And bring the leg to the back. Step the heel up and down. Good. Change another side. Left leg up. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Bend your knee. Step forward. Next to your thumb. Ground the back heels. Toes point to the side, yes. And then slowly bring the hands up, come up to your warrior, two. So from here, you can set your alignment. So knee point straight to the front, bends, the knee are in line with the heels, so you can bend forward. You need more space, shift the weight to the back heels and press it down to the floor. Hip open, facing towards the front. You start to feel the pull from the inner thigh. Knee point, in line with the second toes towards the front. Very good. Holding your core in, tailbone move back and down. So make a deep inhale from your hand. Open chest. As you exhale, bend forward. Set your forearm on the knee. Extend your hands and your arm over your ears reaching towards the front. Start to feel the stretching. You press the back heel down, the side muscles stretching all the way down to your finger. Good. Now inhales come up. Back to your warrior, holding your core in. As you exhale, back hand down and then reach your 
left hands up and then bring your arm over your ears. Very good. Now start to feel the stretch. Remain your front knee into 90 degree. The side muscle here all the way down to your finger. Good. In center. Exhale. Pawaskonasana. Inhale, back to your warrior. And exhale to your revolving warrior two. In center. Exhale, bend forward. Good. Inhale, center. And exhale back. Okay, one more. In center. Exhale. In center. And exhale to the back. So we're going to hold here. Inhale, lift up. Back to your warrior first. As you exhale to your Pawaskonasana, arm over your ears, reach your hands up. You can look up to the ceiling and look at your finger. Stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, come back to your warrior. As you exhale, drop the back hand, touch your thigh or your hamstring, or reach your hands up, open heart and chest. Stay here, five, four, three, two, and once the breathe in, bring the hands forward, lift up the right hand, set your palm down to the floor, turn your back heels up, move the leg to the back, step the heel up and down. Good, now inhale, look forward, exhale, lean towards the front and bend your knee. Move the hip to the back. Bending your elbow, set your forearm down. So we're going to bring the hands forward. Go as far as you can. So you walk the hand to the front. The back toes are support. Tailbones tuck in. Hold your core. Slowly lower down to your chest to the mat. If you can't rest the chest, forehead down. If you can go further and rest the chest now, or chin down on the mat or look forward. Make sure there's no pressure and compress to your neck. If you start to feel uncomfort here, try not to arch too much. Just keep the neck longer or foreheads touching the mat. Another five. Try not to arch the lower back. Don't create any pressure and tension for the lower back. Draw your navel in. Tailbones move back and down. Good. More on the upper body open, the chest and shoulder. And also feel the sweat from your arm. Three. Two, you can walk your finger and cup the fingertips down to support your shoulder so you're not collapse the body down. And once, now breathe in. Set your forearm down on the map, slide the body forward. And then slowly exhale, release the front body down. Good. Forehead down, hand next to your chest. Roll the shoulder, come up to your cobra. Exhale, slowly released. Four more move from here. So more on your rotating from the shoulder joint. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. Control and down. Three. And down. Up. And down. One more. Roll the shoulder, lift up the chest, arch your tricep, lift the chest up, elongate your front body, try not arching the lower back. Tailbone stuck in, draw your navel into your spine. Five, not locking your elbow, so lift the chest, the, inner, the shoulder and ears away from each other. Two, and one. Now press the hand, draw navel in, and then move your hip to the back. Tuck the toes in, come back to your child pose. You can release the toes and rest yourself into your chest. Breathe into your back and shoulder. Exhale, draw never in and out. Good. Press the hand down, chin in, round the back. And then slowly come back to your all four. Tap toes in. Let's push up, back to your down facing dog.
Good. Now inhale, lift the heels up. Right leg up. Bend your knee. And your right foot step outside the little finger. Good. You can point your toes straight to the front. If possible to do that, you have a quite opening for the groin. If that's too hard for you, you can point your toes 45 degrees. So depending how you feel comfortable for yourself. So slowly lower down your back knee to the mat. Forearm down on the floor. And do a lizard poke from here. So you sink your hip down, open up your chest, stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now inhale, press the hand down to the floor. Good. And then from here, make sure the knee is soft. So you try not to put too much pressure on the back knee. Lift up first, slowly release the back knee. And then lift up the toes, bend your knee. Good. The hip remain down towards the floor. So your left hand are support. Extend your right hand forward. Make a big opening chest from here and reach your hands towards the back. Touch your toes. Good. Inhale up and exhale forward and down. So three more. Inhale up. Open chest, rotate the shoulder to the back. Touch your toes. And then exhale. Touch the floor. Inhale, up, touch your toes, exhale, good, one more, inhale, lift up, open heart and chest to back, when you touch your toes, you can go further, hold your ankle, yes, then keep the chest and heart open, look up to the ceiling, if you can go further, look at the back toes, stay here for five, four, three, two, and once, very good, inhale, hand up, exhale, set your palm down to the floor, tuck the back toes into the mat, push up, holding your core, lift up, bring the leg to the back, heels up and down. Can we change another side, inhale, left leg up, bend knee, left foot step, outside of the little finger, lower down your right knee, forearm down. Option one, toes point to the side. Option two, point forwards. So keep the spine longer, holding your core in. Stay here for five. Feel more opening from your groins and hips. Three, two, yes. And the arms, elbow just right underneath your shoulder. Two, and one. Now hand supports with inhales, come up to your supporting knee bending pose. Good. Now stay here. Make sure the back knee are not compressed to the floor. So lift up, soften the knee and slowly release them down to the floor and start to bend your knee, lift up the toes. Very good. Move the hip down, holding your core in. Yes. And then extend the left hand forward all the way up to the ceiling. Rotate the shoulder to the back so you can touch your toes at the back and look at the back. Good. Inhale, up. And you exhale, release the hand down. You can just finger towards the front. Inhale, up. Exhale, touch. Good. And then in, and you can stay where they are. Good. In, and up. Up, and down. Two more. Inhale, exhale, in. And now, last one, we inhale. As you exhale, move to the back. See whether you can touch your ankle. Good, so you can bend your knee a little bit. Holding there. More opening from the pectoris minor and major here. So shoulder rotate a little bit. Looks towards the back or towards the toe. Stay here for five. Four. The supporting hands straight without locking your joints. So you don't over hyperextend your elbow. Finger engage support. And then lift up the chest, use your arm and shoulder support as well. Two, and once. Now hand up, we inhale, exhale, slowly release. Set your palm down, lower down your back toes and bring yourself back to your downward facing dog. Very good, you can step the heel up and down from there and release the tension from the leg, knee, hips. Okay, now from here, we're going to do a little bit of rotation for the hip. So you're going to bring the, your sound to your downward facing dog. Lift up the heels as you inhale. Exhale, draw your navel into your spine. 
right leg up with inhale. And open up your hip with exhale. exhale. If you can go lower, you can set your left knee down to the floor. If this is too hard for you, stay your toe support, your ball of the toe support. If possible to lower down your hip, go ahead with that. Keep your hip open to the side. Look through the arm. So it means that if you are facing to me, you're going to do this one. Not here. It's underneath your arm, look to the side. If possible, looking up to the ceiling. Another five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Now exhale. Slowly release the leg down to the mat. Step the heel up and down. Okay, let's breathe deep into your legs and lift up the heels. Exhale, draw, draw your navel into your spine. So lift the right leg up. Keep up to the ceiling. And then exhale, twist the hip open. Breathe into your heels, slowly lower down to your left heels to the mat if possible. If not, just keep it there. So stay here for five. Extend your leg up. Try not collapse the side body. Lift up. Both hands support. Four. Three. Two. And once. Now turn your face down. Bend your knee to your chest or to your dominant. And then point toes. Extend your knee to the side. Inhale up and exhale down. So you rotate the hip joint from here with two. Yes. Three. Four. And five. Good. Now slowly from here, lower down your leg to the mat. And then we change another side. Inhale, lift up the heels, hold your core as you exhale. Left leg up, open up your hip. Exhale, slowly lower down your heel to the mat. Good. And twist the hip open. Stay here. Try not collapse the side. Okay. Then from here, you try not collapse the shoulder down. Keep this side body longer. Move this hip to the back, holding your core in. Yes. Another five, four, three, two. And one, bend your knee and then turn your face down. Knee to your dominant. Let's make a deep in, extend your leg to the side and then to the back and down good now inhale up back exhale down three two and one good now exhale slowly release the leg down to the mat step the heel up and down good All right, now inhale, lift up the right leg. Bend your knee to your chest. Step the feet down in between your body. And then you turn your toes point to the side. And then back heels, outer feet, press it down to the mat. And then you press it down, holding from the side. And then we're going to do the side plank from here. Extend your hands up to the ceiling, open heart and chest. If this is hard for you, just keep your arms on your waist. If you can go further, just set your hand up. Make a deep inhale from here. Exhale, you're going to move your hip, bending hip down to the mat. Hand extend to the back. Good. Inhale, raise the hand up, lift the hip up, and then bring your arm over your ears, reaching forwards. Good. Exhale down. Control with your arm strength. Inhale up. Exhale down. In. And out. Inhale. Reach. Stay here for five. Four. Look up to the ceiling. Three. Two. And once. Now slowly turn your face down. Set your palm down. Turn your heel, back heel up. Release the leg. Step the heel up and down. Good. Let's do another side. Use your finger, grip the floor. Let's make a deep inhale, left leg up. 
Exhale, bend your knee and step in between your body. Turn your toes pointing to the side. So maybe you can't. Okay, it's okay. Stay where you are. No, no, no. Just point there. Good. Now, you're going to move your outer foot down to the map, the back one. Toes point to the side. Good. Now, inhale, holding your core in. Raise the hands up to the ceiling. Bring the conscious to your arms and your shoulder. Try to bring in more the fresh air to the shoulder joints and shoulder area, the scapula, and lift them up without collapse to the floor. Yes, you want to press the hand and using your palms, engage the floor and push again from the mat. Let's exhale, control your core, slowly lower down your hip to the mat, hand extend to the back. Good. Inhale, reach your hands up, bring your arm over your ears. Very good. Keep the side longer. Inhale. Sorry, exhale to the back. Inhale, up. And exhale. The supporting hands might soft the elbow. Try not locking your joint. In. And out. Up. And down. Last one. Inhale, lift up. Arm over your ears. Good. Then create a space for your shoulder. Yes. Collarbone away from each other, holding your core in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now slowly release. Turn your face down. Bring the leg to the back. Step the heel up and down. Good. Now look forward. Bend your knee. Cross the leg and sit down. Step the feet down to the mat. So you bring the hands open to the back. One followed by another. Finger points towards the back. Roll the shoulder, pushing the chest forward, open the heart and chest. Look to the ceiling. Stay here for five. Four. The sternum are lift forward and lift up to the ceiling. Three. Two. The two scapula want to move in. The center of scapula move into your spine. After you push in and then away from each other. Two, and once. Now chin in, slowly look forward. So we're going to sit your body grounded. Hands facing down to the floor, palm face down. So we're going to drop the both knee to your right side. So you twist, extend towards the right. Inhale, come back to your center. Exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, center. Exhale. Center. And up. Good. Two more. In. Out. In. Out. Center. Right. Center. And left. Good. Now center and right. Set your palm down to the floor. The left hands want to rotate. A, bring a big rotation from here. Feet is down. If you have a lower back problem, draw never in. Tailbones tuck in. Hip bones engage, hip muscle engage. Raise and then open heart and chest. Exhale, turn your face now and then slowly come back to the center. Good. In, set your hand, come all the way up, open heart and chest. Exhale, hip down and then slowly come back. Very good. Now, exhale to the side, press the palm down, make a deep inhale, push your hip up, come up. Very good. And then slowly rotate the shoulder, come all the way back to your center. Okay, maybe you can facing to them so that they can see. Good, palm down towards the left side. Exhale, set your palm down, inhale, push your hip up, rotate the shoulder, chest and heart open. And then exhale down, inhale, back to center. One more, exhale to your right side, press the palm 45 degree point to the back. Rotate the shoulder, open heart, Tailbone's tuck in, draw never in, try not arching your back, push your chest up. Good. And then exhale. In center. Last one to your left. And then slowly come up with in. Very good. And then exhale. All right. Now set your hand down to the floor. Okay, cross leg. Bring the hand down, push up, bring your leg to the back. Stepping your heels up and down. Okay, we go to the final pose for today. 
and then this will be a little bit challenge for a new beginner. If you have a problem for the lower backs when you do the chest open, come to the back bend pose. You just wait. I will give you the option here. So let's do with the uh, option first. So start with your all four position. Tuck the toes in. Lift the knee off the mat. And then from here, you're going to move the right leg up and then twist your hip. The outer feet press down. The feet, move it to the back and then step the toes down. Keep this leg up or you're just bending your knee. And then step the hip, open heart and chest into your tabletop pose. As you exhale, turn your face down and then come back to your all four with knee off the mat. So if this okay for you, then you do this one. Those that can go further, your chest is quite open and then your back is fine, you can go a little bit challenged from here. Tuck toes in, push up, bring yourself to your down facing dog. Then we're going to lift the heels up in, exhale, draw your navel in. And then turn your both toes to the left side, out of it, press down. Oh sorry, come back to the center first. Now make a deep inhale from here, hold with exhale, raise the right leg up. As you exhale, turn your left toes point to the right side. Out of it, press down. Bending your knee, hip open, and then bend your right toes behind, touching the floor. Slowly extend this leg straight. Shoulder, make a big rotation, open heart and chest. If this is your maximum, hold here. If you can go further, and open heart and chest. Good. Exhale, turn your face down, and then slowly release your hand, lift up the back leg, and come back to the center and step the heel up and down. Good. So we have two options here. You can do with the knee bending or you can do with the down facing dog start form. Right? Let's choose the option that you can go, okay? Let's stay with there. We inhale. Okay, it's good. Maybe Christina will do the wow pose. I will do with the knee bending so you know how to practice together. Starting, hold that. We inhale and change side. Lift up the leg, tuck toes, and then bend your knee. Open heart and chest into your table or into your wall back bend pose. Exhale, turn your face down, and then lift up the leg and bring it back to your down facing dog or bring it back to your all four. With knee off on the mat. Be careful of the hands and your wrists. Use your finger, grip the floor. Turns from the leg and your hips. Okay, we do it one more time. Inhale, right leg up. Keep the hip open, bend your knee. Good, and then slowly adjust the toes, point to the side, tuck the toes down, pushing the hip bone up, open heart and chest. Very good, and then turn your face down, bring the hands back, lift up the leg and back to your down facing dog. Okay, another side. Inhale, left leg up. Bend knee, open hip, turn your toes pointing to the side. Good, slowly drop the toes down, and then open up, pushing the hip bones up, open heart and chest. Very good. Now slowly turn your face down. Set your palm down, lift up the back leg and back to your down facing dog. Then step the heel up and down from here. Good. Inhale, lean forward. Exhale, bend knee, bend elbow, chest chin on the floor, come up to your cobra. And then exhale, move your hip to the back. Sit your buttock down on the heel, release your arm, shoulder, your hands down to your finger. Make a deep in and slow up. Good. Down, chin in, round back, slowly come back to your sitting position. Good. All right, you can go into your Shavasana from here. So you can rest all your back down to the floor. So you're going to release all the spine on the mat. Rest the back in your shoulder. Keep the hand just next to your body. You adjust the shoulder side to side. Make sure they are really grounded. Good. Hands release, finger release. After that, you bring the conscious back to your legs. Slowly let go of your feet one by one. And just a bit your legs are there relaxed, checking yourself. Yes. 
So you're not carry any weight at all. Start from the ground, the head down to the tip of the toes. You let them follow the gravity. Let's the entire body sink down to the mat. Focus more into your breath. Close your eyes. Release the center of your eyebrows. Make a deep inhale and slow exhale. Find your own rhythms of the breath, in and out, in and out. Every inhalation, bring in more of the fresh air into your body. Exhalation, release all the unwanted air from the body. And then you can scan down to your shoulder and your hands, upper back, chest, lower back, hips, and all the way down to your toes. In slowly and out released. Now slowly inhale and slowly exhale. It's depending how you feel right now. If you need more Shavasana, just stay there. Just connect your breath in and out. If you want to come out, slowly breathe in the air down to your heart, chest and your domino. Exhale, slowly release. And start to bring the awareness down to your hands and your fingers. Move the fingers. Bring it to your feet, down to your toes, move the toes. Good, so adjust a little bit your shoulder and your neck, side to side. Lift up the arms, bring the hands behind your head, finger point to the back. And you slowly, gently draw your feet together. And then bring your toes pointing towards the front. Stretch your entire body as you inhale. And exhale, release. Bend your knee and then slowly step the feet down to the mat. Adjust a little bit your lower back and your hips. Start to bend your knee to your chest. Gently lock side to side. Okay, drop the both knee down to your right side. Turn your body completely to the right side. With the hand supports, come back to your sitting position. Remain your eyes is closed. Then start to connect your breath in and out to your chest, heart, abdominal. Exhale, let go and relax. Good. Take your time with inhale. Open up your eyes. Bring the palm to the center of your heart. Chin into your collarbone. Bound all the way down to order your practice. Palm to your chest. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you, Practice with Earth. I hope you enjoy the class. If you have any doubts and questions, please feel free to text the message to Earth or just write into the Facebook comments so that we can give you more advice and how to practice together. All right. Um, if you have time, please take a picture and then just share your uh, practice with us so you can text stay home with Jiao Yu. Okay, and that's it for today, class. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye.
Hi, if you like our video, please give us a like. And if you have any doubts and questions, uh, do give us a comment. And then please share to your family members, colleagues and friends. And don't forget to subscribe us from our YouTube channel. And we'll see you in next video.